In this video, I'll talk about the difference between small thinkers and big thinkers and how it applies to your business. In fact, it applies to your life. And I'll also share a significant thinking exercise that has changed my lifestyle. Hey there, my name is Kayla and you're watching this video because you're probably interested in creating a life you love. Now, do you want the good news or the bad news? The bad news is that most people never reach their full potential because they think too small. The good news is that with today's tool, you'll expand your mindset and really believe that you can achieve anything you want. I want you to right now to think, do you focus on your problems often? Do you allow your emotions to get the best of you because you're dealing with a reality that feels unfavorable? And are you reactive about the situation? Do you believe that is just the way it is? You tried everything, but nothing works. Or do you spend time looking at the problem and deeply learning ways to fix the problem? Do you confront your problem and only let the emotions affect you just a little bit? And then you make space for finding solutions. This is the difference between a reactive person and a proactive person. The reactive is the, oh, well, that's all there is. I've done everything I could, so I'm done. A proactive person will learn, investigate, and iterate on the things that they learn. I want you today to adopt a growth mindset, which is fancy for go learn, think optimistically about the situation, and talk yourself through a solution-driven approach. And don't stop there. Constantly invest in yourself, get books, seek mentors and seek discomfort because only through that will you genuinely grow to the highest level. The last thing I wanna share with you is this, 2 Corinthians 6 through 11. I want you to be a giver in order to receive abundantly. For it says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. That's basically saying the more you give, the more you will receive. Think your time, God's money, your service to others. You give that and you will get 10 times that back. In order to give, you have to lead yourself. I wanna give you a free guide on how to do that. So text me the word habit to 661-491-7447 and I'll send it to you for free. Comment below what you're going to be focusing on giving this week and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm giving out lots of good content over there. All right, thanks love.